so to make a kitchen, we'll have to figure that out. Craft. Um, I've got the workbench now, and this space is being cleared out, so I might make this into my workbench space. Let me go here and just drag this down here. And I'm going to just build a workbench, like, over here. So, put it there. The campfire should be fine. Okay. Well, let me try it then. Let me see if it'll let me. Yes, you're right. It does work. Okay, thank you, Cryo. That would be awesome, nice guy. That's the solution, to get a bot to take care of the bots. Right. So, um, it says requires kitchen, but... The cook fire counts as a kitchen. When it was all in red right here for requirements, I just assumed that I couldn't, that I didn't have it. But thank you, Cryo, for clearing that up. Hey, hey, Zygos, what is up, my friend? How you doing? Good to see you. Oh, hey, Carlos with the K, what is up? On YouTube, you can set chat to require being sub for at least five minutes to prevent bot spam. Oh, that is amazing. Thank you, Carlos. I will do that. I, uh, I need to spruce my game up. Okay, let's make some more eggs. Okay, and then there you go. And hopefully, I don't know if that gives somebody the order to, like, go do it. Is that what this guy is going to do? Yeah, he's going to cook it. So, for this type of crafting, somebody actually has to go craft it. Oh, four people are not working. Okay, let us get them working then. Cut down... Oop, pick up that swimmer's book. Excellent. Cut down these trees, please. We need wood. And then, this looks great. Uh, I can open this hatch. That's why they're not working. Yep, cut down all this stuff. And you guys can just dig all this out, if you don't mind. Kill that. Kill this. This looks good. Yep. Take this stuff out. There we go. Okay, thank you, Space Cookie. I'll have to check into YouTube Studio Filters. I have not been doing a good job with that, and that's my fault. Alright, I need to rebuild my hatch. They busted it up. Put another hatch there. Put another hatch there. And while you're at it, um, build a ladder right there. Thank you. All right, all right. Now we're getting the hang of things. Okay, we've got eggs. Um, I guess you can make grilled meat. And can you make this and then make that? I'm just do making everything just for the experience to try to level up the tech tree. And now everybody has food. And our comfort level is 46, so it's getting closer. Let's craft some more furniture. One, two. Yeah, I'm going to make some more chairs. And we'll just uh, put them down here. And another table should be good. And we'll put them down here. All right, fantastic. I'm going to build a table here. And um, chairs here. I'm just trying to do this to build up the comfort level, by the way. So that mice do not spawn in my base and people are happy about it. Okay, we've got a workshop, which means we can build some new stuff. Rats will steal food off the table, says Cryo. Ooh, okay, we, that's another reason we don't want that. Um, let's try to build these planks. I've been meaning to do that. Great, and I think we can now that we have um, this workshop table. So somebody's going to come build planks, which is awesome. Thank you. Thank you for building planks. They're digging away at this stuff. Okay, great. Oh, this cave extends, though. That's alarming. Let's put a torch. Let's put some torches in so that we don't... Um... Rats only spawn on dirt, says Carlos. Oh, thank you for the help. So that means maybe if I mine away all of the dirt, then I can get rid of them? I wonder if I can ever, like, build better floors or anything like that. Um, okay, good, good, good. Let's build some rope for sure. Thank you. And we'll just put that over there. Terrific. Um, leather we've got. All right, let me go over here. And can we build a slime torch? Do it. Yep, 
and just build those over there. And let's build a bucket. Oh, we never built the planks? I thought we did. Maybe somebody's carrying them to the stockpile. Hey, nice guy. Good night, my friend. I know. We got to watch those rats. Oh, you got it. I am getting a sense of accomplishment busy. Or uh, space cookie. It is kind of busy work in some ways. But what I like is just making the making more things like making a bigger base getting more dwarves all that kind of stuff oh okay you can just replace the dirt floor with something else like wooden blocks and see it's kind of like what carlos is talking about um space cookie i like just you know seeing what i can do and leveling up getting more i am getting a sense of accomplishment and you know, the other thing, too, that I'm getting Space Cookie is just at least learning how to play the game, which I think is fun. The next time I build a base and I start the game, I'm going to be so much better on the uh, next campaign mode or whatever. All right, did you guys ever make those planks that I asked for? What happened there? Oh, they're being ordered, but... Oh, no, finally somebody's working on them. There we go. Terrific. Okay. What's the comfort? 46? Alright. Maybe then we do need to just go into our... Uh, well, first of all, let's make a lock just to make it. And then... There we go. The iron working. So we got... Now we can get into basic construction. And this is kind of like what Carlos was talking about. Now I can finally build a wooden wall, wooden door, wooden chest, things like this. Yeah, so now I, I couldn't do that in, until now. We're about to finish basic cooking also, which is cool. Population has grown. Very good. See, this is scary to me. Like, I, I don't know what's over here. I have to be very careful about this cave system. Okay. Um, the cooking is done. Let's go cook some more. Uh, make... Yeah, make this. Do that, and then... Um... Some back walls add comfort. I should get some back walls. Let me see who's got what equipped. So we got a new um, Fever. We just got Fever. So let's give him a club, at least. And um, let's craft some stuff for people. So let's go into the um, crafting menu. And let's start... Um, I can finally make backpacks, actually. I've been wanting to make backpacks. I'm going to make uh, six backpacks, because they seem really good. And then I'm going to make um, a couple wooden helmets. I can make a saw, and I can't make a bandage yet. But now I can make, like, a wooden wall, which adds comfort. And so we're going to make a ton of these. And then I'm going to just um, drag them down here like that. And then what I want to do is, uh, I'm just experimenting, so I'm just going to pick this up, and I'm going to say, um, replace the earth. Replace the earth. And let's just kind of start replacing the earth. Um, no, um, actually, just go back here, do this. Hey, we got cooking done. Perfect. And so now that cooking is done, we can move on to basic processing. Uh, and we're working on advanced woodworking as well. Okay, good. Let's get some walls in here. Place the earth. Uh, build a wooden wall. Okay, that's fine. Uh, replace the earth. Replace the earth. Let's just do this. Yeah, there you go. You can hold shift and do this, too. And 
And I'm just going to try to do this for all of this. And I'm out of walls. Okay, good. And we're going to make some more planks. Um, a wooden chest. Yeah, make one of these. Why not? Uh, roof of leaves. Okay, interesting. Um, let's actually make... Can I make this bucket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make that. Make a bunch of buckets for everybody. And, ooh, I can make wooden boots. Yes, make everybody wooden boots. I have eight people. Make eight. Perfect. Make those buckets. And, ooh, let's start equipping stuff. Okay, so we're going to go to the equipment screen. And now we have backpacks for people. Backpack. What does the handsaw do? Increases the efficiency of the logger and carpenter skills. Okay, so where do I put that on you? Over here. Oh, yeah, and just makes him a better logger. That's cool. I'm not going to give it to you because you don't even have a axe. Um, but, you know, somebody like this dude, you could use that, and you could be a better logger. Oh, you don't even have logger. You're a mage. Hey, Logical Cole, what is up, my friend? Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate that. How you doing? Um, he's an archer. Okay. Well, you might as well then be a better archer. Um, you're a smith and a swimmer. Okay. Um, you're a miller. You're a logger. Here you go. Let's give you this. You, Marl, should be out there doing all the logging. And then here you go. I'm just giving people things. And this is your backpack now. And this is your backpack now. And you get a backpack. And you get a backpack. Okay. And then let's give everybody shoes. Boots. Boots. Start making people stout. Everybody gets... You get two armor just from having these boots. So let's give everybody shoes. Okay. We're a little stronger. We're a little stronger. We're a little stronger. And does, does anybody not have a hat? Yeah, you don't have a, a helmet. There you go. Now, everybody has at least four defense, and anybody who has armor has an eight defense. So I feel pretty good about that. Comfort, 47%. We're almost there. Let me go back into crafting. Um, and let me look at making... Uh, even... I'll make this just to make it. I don't really care about it, but it yeah, it, it levels up this part of the tech tree so we can get to advanced iron working, which seems pretty cool. And then I'm really going to just go back over here and uh, make a bunch more of these wooden walls. There we go. And let me just collect this and do this. Oh, okay, Carlos. Thank you for that tip. What I ended up doing was I just destroyed their nest. Um... And I hope that also kind of did the trick, as it were. Alright, now we're getting some wood walls. And let's see what happens if I just put, like, wood floors on. Okay. There we go. Almost there for comfort. Okay, now let me zoom out and see if there's any sheep nearby. There's one. Okay, oh, there's two. So, kill that sheep. Kill that sheep. 
And then... Any sheep over here? Yep. Somebody kill that one. And then gather all those resources. And I need you to chop down... Um, oh, we can actually gather water now, too. Um, cut down the trees. Yep. Chop all this stuff down. Yep, there you go. And... At some point, I might want to explore a little bit more. Oh, nope, here's the rats. They spawned. Man, we're so close. 51%, and we still got rats. That's a shame. Only one can spawn at the same time? Oh, okay, thank you. Okay. We're killing the rat nest right here. And we're going to move down here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the rat nest should be gone. Uh, we got to get rid of that rat, though. And that guy. Okay, everybody, go do your thing. There. Looking good. All right, this guy is going at night. Um, I'm going to uh, not... I'm sorry you fell. Um, I did that to you. It's my fault. I don't want them to leave the shelter because it's nighttime. I don't want anybody to die. I'm just going to tell them to come back, and there's plenty of work to be done inside the shelter. So let's do that instead. You know what I mean? Like, let's... Uh... Oh, they won't do that because they're forbidden to leave the shelter. I got gotcha. um... you. You guys can eat. Anybody hungry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, um, what is it? I told him to go eat. Yeah, now they'll just eat. I just pushed control E, and now they're all, like, helping themselves to some food, hopefully, and filling up their hunger. And then... Oh, place some signs to prevent them from wandering off? I wonder what those signs were for. Beware signs. Place a sign to keep your dwarves from going a certain way. For example, you might want to do this if an area is full of monsters too tough for them to handle. Oh, perfect. That's really helpful. Thank you for explaining that. That makes a lot of sense. Um, okay, good. And then... I don't think I can build it yet. I don't have the... recipe. But I'm getting closer. Um, oh, okay, guys. You can go fight. Go fight. Go go fight these skeletons. They're about to break our hatch. That's just... That wasn't nice. They, they broke our hatch, you guys. Yeah, they can't reach the stockpile because I, I shut them down. That was my fault. Alright, so everybody who needs to go rest, you guys can go rest. And then build another hatch right there. Okay, hopefully everyone is getting better now. Game starts with three in your inventory. Oh, okay, I already have three signs in my inventory. Thank you. You're right. Okay, so then let's just say um, for now, for example, like I don't want them to uh, go over here. Like that area looks dubious. Everything else is mostly okay. It's just at nighttime that I'm worried All right, let me go into crafting, and we can make an improved portal. What does this mean? Can open portals to biomes and multiplayer games using a special spell. Okay, interesting. And now I can make like an iron pickaxe. Ooh, a better pickaxe and axe? Well, that's really awesome, actually. I need a forge, though, to make it. Climbing shoes, smithing apron. All right, I need to learn how to make a forge before I can do that. Touche. Well, we can make a smithing apron. And, uh, oh, I can finally make a bandage. I'm actually excited about that. And then... Here's a forge. Uh, I just need some water, so I'll just tell them to collect the water. And 
And then with that water, I can make a forge. So I'm going to dig out some more space over here. Kind of put a forge in. All right, good. Okay, they're doing stuff. It's looking good. Hopefully they go get um, what I'd like to make. Did we get wool yet? Mm. Can we make rope? No, we don't. We didn't get the wool. The sheep are still alive. Kill that sheep. There's the wool. So they'll gather it eventually. Task complete. Advanced woodworking. Fantastic. Tech tree. Okay, so um, we got advanced woodworking, which allows us to go into advanced furnishing, but we have to do um, basic processing first. But in order to do that, we need to do advanced ironworking, which we're doing anyway because we want to make the iron picks and things. But we have to build the forge. So let's see if we can build that forge now. We can build a forge. If you dig into lakes, does it flood your base, says Space Cookie? I believe it does. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, Cryo. So what you do is you build the crafting structures on bridges above the stockpile, and then the stuff just drops right onto it? Wow, that's pretty clever. So you save time. That is a meta strategy. All right. Dirt drains water eventually, but stone retains it. Oh, interesting, Carlos. Okay, so if, if you have stone, then it'll stop the water. All right, let's put down our forge. Um, ooh, we got a, a warrior's book. Increase the damage inflicted by melee weaponry in close combat. Well, wow, that's really nice for a fighting dwarf. And they're putting the walls in slowly but surely to make it look nice. Oh, interesting. Look at this. When I told them to replace this tile with a wooden block, what ended up happening was they built like a, a raised wooden floor with a, a crawl space almost underneath. That's kind of curious. All right, cool. And then, uh, okay, let me see. I think I can build a bed right there. Yeah, just to get more space for everyone to sleep if they need it. And then I do want to... Uh, mine out this area, but I don't know if they can without ladders. So let's go ahead and craft uh, some ladders. And just tell them, hey, you know, you can build this down to get here. And then you guys can mine this out. You're allowed to go here. You guys can. Cool. All right. And... We've done a good job. Uh, we're getting a bunch of land. Look at these backpacks. Do you see how much um, you can cycle wall block design by clicking on it with the same block? Oh, interesting. Okay. So. Oh, we, com we collected sand and we got a bunch of experience. Wow. Sand is used for construction and glass manufacturing. Dig out several sand blocks. Sand is very loose, so be careful not to bury the dwarves. Oh, yeah, that would be a problem. I don't want to accidentally do that. So let me see what you're talking about. Let me go to craft, and let me go over here to wooden blocks, and just, like, I'll just make a bunch of these, right? And then drag them down here. And then what you're saying is, if I select this, I can... Uh... 
clicking on it with the same block. So let's see. I can cycle design. Oh, yes, I see what you mean. There we go. So I could make it look like that. I actually kind of like this for a floor. But I see what you're saying. If I have it selected, I can make all the different graphical changes that I would want. Now, if, I, if I'm clicking replace, there are they gathering the resource from that or not? I hope so. Oh, we got some money. No, don't don't do that. But um, let's put up some torches. Torches. Thank you, Carlos. That makes a lot of sense. That's cool. All right, and let me put in now this forge that I have built. There we go. I'm not doing the meta strategy at all right now, by the way, because I, um, I don't know. I'm I'm afraid of doing that for some reason. I'm afraid of getting attacked outside. Perfect. All right, so they're working. Oh, we got rats again. These darn rats. I tell you what. They must have spawned maybe outside my base, and I don't know what, what caused them to arrive, but I don't like them. Okay. Awesome. And now they're going down here and doing stuff. There's, like, crystal, which looks cool. I am under attack, it says. By what? A uh, rat or something? You could, Can you lower the stockpile by mining under it, then hatch over it? Oh, that's a good question, says Brew. If I mine under the stockpile, does do, do the portal in the stockpile drop down, or do they have to stay above the ground? Kill that mouse. Get it out of there. All right, now we can craft um, the iron pickaxe. We can make one, two, and then we can make some iron axes. One, two, three. Oh, actually, we can make a lot of these. Three, four. Cool. Oh, okay. Thank you, Carlos. Yeah, that that's a great idea, Brew, though. That would be awesome if you could do that. All right. Um. Yep, make all those things, please. All right, perfect. Okay, I think things are doing, going really, really well at this point. Um, they're all moving around. There we go. And everybody's working. We've got food. I can actually um, put down some more apples on that table. And we can also put down some more pine cones over here. And over here, just in case people get hungry. Excellent. Oh, that's great, Carlos. Perfect. Thank you for explaining that. That makes a lot of sense. That that would be really nice if I didn't have to always leave the base to get to the stockpile, but I understand why they do that. Ooh, look at all this metal. We need to start going into this world because this is a ton of uh, good stuff. And we can get you guys a ladder so you don't have to do that. There you go. Yeah, you can use the ladder, guys. All right. And this guy's working at the forge. I should probably have somebody crafting some more planks. Ooh, strengthen your arms. Build a blacksmith stable to forge stronger armor. Use hardened steel instead of iron. We've got a bunch of experience for doing that. And um, I do want to make... I have some planks, so I'll just make some more anyway, just to have them churning out. There we go. Awesome. Okay, cool. And this area scares me with this monster. I don't know what's going to happen with that thing. So I'm kind of not going in there. I don't know if that's too cowardly, but... That's where I'm at. Um, okay. I think we have enough beds for everybody. Oh, okay. 
thank you, Cryo. You mean build a bunch of ladders? I gotcha. Uh, I need a lock to make that, and we need iron ore to do that. Okay. Well, then, there you go. Awesome. Oh, I can make rope. Yeah, yeah, make all that rope, please. There you go. And then that means that we can go in here and we can make people some armor. Yes, 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 make all that. And then let's go into equipment, and let's start giving people some good stuff. Oh, thank you, Carlos. Okay, well, then let's go for it. All right, I'm going to start equipping... Um, I have some better weapons here, so let's give this... And let's give this... And what's this? Um, oh, this is the combat book. Um, all right, Fever. Go for it, dude. Become good at fighting. And the smithing apron I should put on whoever the smith is. Uh, let's see. So you can use this. And also this. And then you can use this. And also this. And then Fergus. Royland. There we go. Armor. Armor. Great. Everybody's got armor. Everybody has a hat. Um, you don't have a pick yet, which is dubious, but we'll get you one. Fantastic. All right. So then... Oh, they're better than ladders, and they're like the beware sign where you place them yourself. Oh, interesting. Okay. I'll, I'll, hopefully I can get the scaffolding soon then. Okay, so I'm going to actually have them start to go up this way and see what that is all about. And we got the climber's book. Nice. I love how you find little, like, stat books and things while you're exploring. That's pretty fun. Level up your dwarves a bit. Yeah, this is, we need this stuff so badly. Oh, Oh my goodness, look at this chamber. This is like a a lich vampire death knight and a beholder. Ooh, do not dig into this. That that looks uh no no no, don't fight that guy. Don't do it. Don't do it. Amusing. Okay, good. And, all right, my people are going to come do this eventually. You use scaffolds to prevent sand from falling, says uh, Carlos. Oh, right. Yeah, and I'm getting into areas where I'm going to find sand and I don't want to die. So this guy right here, for example, this dwarf, this is um, Fieber. So I'm going to go actually into Fieber's inventory. Oh, okay, cool. Um, and Fieber will equip the apron because um, he's smithing right now. So let's just give him that just because he is smithing. And then let's... Oops. Let's not do that. Let's go into crafting. And then I'm going to try to make, um, like, for example, a wooden bow. Yeah, make that. Make a bow. And, and arrows. Make all that. And a wooden staff. I need glass. Yeah, make this. Whatever. Looks awesome. Make that. Make glass. Yep. Make it. Paper. Nah, I need water. Okay. Sure. Let's go get some water. Gather that water. Gather it. Everybody, go gather it. Gather that. Get it. There you go. All right. They're fighting it. It is... Um, okay. We killed that. What is that? Let me see what it was. Beast Jerry. It was... A cave spirit. A little dangerous. Oh, it's not hard at all. Okay, perfect. Well, now we know. In the future, those aren't actually that hard. That's awesome. Okay. And then now we can sort of... Um, mine up by building little steps like this 
to see what's over here. But in the meantime, I am going to... This is part of my base now, which is problematic. So I'm going to need to kind of like... I, I would love to build a door uh, to shut that off, but I can't just yet. So what I will do is um, I'm going to put a hatch right here and a hatch right here. And then we can build a ladder right there. And then that'll take that out of our base. That's a good question, Space Cookie. I don't know. I love doing stuff like that in Dwarf Fortress, though. Like channeling water, having an underground lake, all those things. Good idea, Brew. Call off sick tomorrow. That's the that is the perfect plan for a four day weekend. <laughs> Thanks so much for stopping in, my friend. Have a good night. Oh, what are we fighting? Oh no, it's just nighttime. Okay, cool. Oh, you were sick today too. Good work, Brew. I love it. I hope you're not really sick, by the way, Brew, and I hope you're just pretending. Oh, cool. Space Cookie Carlos has verified that. That's awesome. Ah, oh, Brew, I'm sorry that you're really sick. I thought you were just wink-wink, like, playing hooky. Now I see. All right. Well, um... Everybody, it is actually my bedtime as well, and so I want to say thank you so much for uh, learning this new game with me, for those of you who are new and were just watching, and thank you to all of the... Uh, pros out there, Cryo and Carlos, who uh, instructed me on how to play. That was extremely helpful. So I hope you all have a wonderful evening, weekend, brew, get better, and I will check you guys next time. Carlos, Space Cookie, Brew, Crab, IBK, Nice Guy, Zygos, Neo, Tantalus, Nickman Veil Everyone Have a good night You love this one and more up episodes if, if everyone else wants it Yeah good idea Space Cookie I mean I'm excited to see what happens I had no idea what was going to happen when I booted this game up But it's, it's pretty charming I have to say uh, especially now that, you know, I've been given tips and know a little bit more about what's going on. Um, granted, this is an easy map, but still, we're doing well. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good one.